Hi, this is Mike Pettigrew, and today I'd like to read the very first chapter in my new book, The Most Powerful Goal Achievement System in the World. Yesterday I read the introduction, and yesterday morning this big box arrived at my home, and I opened it up, and it was my very first few copies of my new book. And I'm very proud of this book. Uh, it's the culmination of 40 years of my life researching and studying human consciousness, the reasons, the deep reasons for success, happiness, and fulfillment. And it's, it's, it's really a guidebook, a textbook that you can use to transform your life. And as I say, I'm really proud of it because the system works. It's full of exercises right from the start, right through to the very end. It's, the book is about 260 pages long and it's designed to give people fast results because nobody is going to use a goal achievement system unless they get results. And a lot of people they pick up books or they buy courses on goal achievement and how to achieve a more successful life and those books and those courses just gather dust and it's, it's usually because it's of complexity. Most goal achievement systems are simply too complex and most people need results and they need those results fast or they give up. So that's why I've designed this book to give you results right from the start. And when you start taking baby steps and you start seeing the effects of those baby steps, it can be very encouraging. So this is what the whole book builds on itself. Once you get results, you start gaining confidence. You start realizing that as you stretch your life, you can achieve bigger and bigger things. So a lot of a lot of work has gone into this and I really think you'll find it very, very beneficial. So I'd like today to read the very first chapter of the book. I'm gearing up for the launch of the book, which starts in a couple of days from now on the October 1st, uh, 2017. It actually coincides with my birthday. And um, instead of my friends giving me gifts, I want to give a free copy to you know, all my subscribers on my list and anyone who knows me as kind of a reverse birthday present. So a reverse birthday gift. So it's just a way of saying thank you for supporting me. So I'm going to read um, the very first chapter. We did the introduction yesterday and this is, this is the first chapter. It's called An Amazing Discovery and also why I wrote this book. At this point, you're probably wondering, who is Mike Pettigrew and why is he sharing this information with me? Today, I'm an entrepreneur and best-selling author. I've been interviewed on radio and TV many times, helping people just like you to live happier, more successful lives. I've also started, bought, built and sold businesses that have made millions. However, it wasn't always that way. If you turn the clock back some years, my life was a living hell. I had lost everything that I'd built up over the previous 20 years. It even got so bad that I didn't have any money to feed my wife or our baby son who had just been born. Have you ever felt so overwhelmed by fear that it affected you physically? You know that nauseating feeling in the pit of your stomach? It's awful and paralyzing, isn't it? And when it involves your loved ones, it's a terrible shock to the system. Every morning I used to waken up shaking with fear, having to face yet another excruciatingly painful day became almost unbearable. I used to get out of bed and run straight to the toilet because the fear was so overpowering that I wanted to vomit. And this went on for a very long time. I honestly believe that the, there is nothing more frightening than a threat to the survival of your loved ones. The situation I found myself in was a huge shock because previously I had been very successful. Just a few years earlier, I had sold my first really successful business to a multinational. And at that point, I was a millionaire. 
Little could I have imagined what was in store for us and by trusting the wrong people and by making some very bad investments we lost every cent we had in the entire world. It was all gone, nothing left, nada. Slowly but surely I moved down a slippery slope going from someone who had lots of self-confidence and high self-esteem to completely doubting myself and no longer having any trust in my own abilities. I was a failure and everything I did seemed to make our situation a lot worse. No matter how happy or successful we may become, we never truly know what may be around the next corner or what hard lessons we may need to learn. However, I'm of the firm belief that the major painful experiences of our lives can enable us to grow and become kinder, wiser, richer and more compassionate human beings. But there's no guarantee. Everything depends on how we react to our circumstances and the choices that we make. Our thoughts and emotions shape our world. Finally, it got so bad, I just couldn't take it anymore. I vowed to the universe that the situation would change. I committed my entire being to transforming our situation no matter what it would take. It can be quite amazing what is possible when we commit to something 100%. When we make a vow to transform a painful situation. It's almost like we have to get to the point of screaming at the tops of our voices, no more, I will change this no matter what before real transformation can occur. Have you ever been in a situation that slowly got worse? If so, you will know how it feels to just put up with it. It seems almost natural to slowly and gradually sink into feelings of despair and powerlessness by constantly putting up with a painful situation. For me it happened very slowly as our situation became worse and worse. I didn't even notice how my thoughts and emotions had gradually become more negative with each passing day. I hardly even noticed the difference within me by the time I had no more confidence in myself anymore. It all happened slowly and subtly as I just continued to put up with everything. The fact is we really don't need to wait until things become really painful in order to be able to draw forth great power from within our lives. Since we are so good at just putting up with things, we can forget this immense potential for change that always lies within us. I certainly had forgotten this ability until I made my vow and as soon as I did this, an amazing thing happened. As soon as I vowed with every fibre of my being to change our situation, it seemed like my prayer was finally answered. The very next day I came across an old book written over a hundred years ago and it was all about the power of gratitude. That book was The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles and in it I learned that gratitude acts like a powerful magnet drawing into our lives all sorts of benefits. On the other hand, fear, resentment and complaint can have the complete opposite effect. They prevent good things from happening to us. This book totally opened my eyes. What I was feeling back then was certainly not gratitude, but rather it's complete opposite. I kept thinking, why me? Why do I deserve this? I almost believed there was no point in trying anymore because I just kept failing again and again. I was literally locked into a vicious cycle of fear, self-doubt and despair and everything I did seemed to make our situation far worse. I felt completely paralysed until I read this incredible book. While reading I started to realise that many of the things that we were experiencing were the direct result of the dominant thoughts and emotions that I was transmitting out into the universe from my mind. This wonderful book made me realise that I urgently needed to change my dominant thoughts and emotions. Before this deeply painful experience I had been an optimist and a very positive thinker. I was well aware of my own ability to create whatever I wanted. 
and I had the confidence and determination to bring my goals to fruition again and again. Reading this book about gratitude, I started to realize just how far I had slipped and just how deep into the pit of despair I had fallen. My crazy gratitude experiment. That's when I decided to do a little experiment. An experiment I today call my crazy gratitude experiment. I decided to reprogram my mind with gratitude. So every 30 minutes of the day I asked myself what my most dominant thought and emotion was during the previous 30 minutes. As you can imagine, having experienced so much loss and continuing to struggle so desperately, my dominant thoughts and emotions were not particularly positive, to put it mildly. So every 30 minutes of the day, I replaced those negative thoughts and feelings with gratitude. Now at this point, you may wonder how it was even possible for me to feel any gratitude at all when things were so awful. However, as well-known author Bruce Moen once told me, if you ever want to return to any state of consciousness you have experienced in the past, then all you need to do is remember what it felt like. Now, Bruce had shared this insight with me a few years earlier while running a workshop at our home. And Bruce is a very gifted researcher into the evidence for life after physical death. And his words were a powerful reminder of what we are truly capable of. So in my crazy gratitude experiment, I brought up the memory of a time in the past when I had felt deep gratitude. I, I focused on that experience and after a couple of minutes, I actually started to feel some gratitude. At first, the effects of doing this did not last very long. And that's why I kept focusing on gratitude every 30 minutes of the day. However, after practicing this for only a few hours, I started to feel very differently for the first time in more than a year, even though we were still in a terrible situation. But then some amazing things started to happen. Coincidences or synchronicities, which still affect me profoundly to this day, started occurring one after another in a rapid succession. As I started to manifest more gratitude in my life, gradually our circumstances also began to improve. Now, it, it took time for the situation to transform completely, but everything started changing as soon as I moved my mindset from fear and resentment to gratitude and appreciation. Whenever you are suffering deeply, cannot see any way out of your situation and have experienced despair for a long time, any change in your feelings can be a great relief. As I started to feel differently, and as I started to see new possibilities in my future, my actions also started to change. As all these new coincidences started occurring in rapid succession, my optimism and positivity started to grow once again. And as I started making different actions, I also started seeing different results, and my confidence, which had previously been badly shaken, also started to grow once again. And all these changes started happening as a result of my crazy gratitude experiment. No matter how difficult your current situation may be, or how urgently you need to experience a rapid change, the power of gratitude can propel you forwards in a wonderful new direction, and it can do this fast. It may almost seem like you're living a lie for a short time in order to really get this creative process started, but it's not living a lie. Rather, you are consciously choosing a mindset that is the complete opposite to what you had been experiencing. And this really works, and it's extremely powerful. Three days after beginning my crazy gratitude experiment, my phone rang and I answered it. And it was an old business competitor on the line and we started discussing his business and his exciting recent experiences. However, I was far too ashamed to share with him what I myself had been going through. 
And during our conversation, he told me that he was getting incredible results from a new form of advertising called Google AdWords. At that point, I, I didn't know anything about this new form of advertising, and I asked him to explain exactly what was happening for him. He told me about the little advertisements that appeared down the right hand side of the Google search results page and how he was getting an enormous amount of new business from those advertisements and at very low cost and how it had completely transformed his business. Now that conversation only three days after I started my experiment had the effect of changing my life in more ways than you could possibly imagine. Our entire situation did take time to transform completely with many months of working long hours and learning all, all sorts of new skills in rapid succession. However, everything started to change as soon as I began my crazy gratitude experiment. Since then, I myself have spent millions advertising using Google AdWords in all my businesses and the results have been phenomenal. Looking back, I can see why I had to go through such an horrendous experience. The challenges I experienced have taught me just how powerful our mind is. We really can think our way to success or failure and we are totally responsible for everything that happens to us. This experience has enabled me to share what I have learned with many people around the world. It has allowed me to pass on what I have discovered so that other people do not need to make the same mistakes that I made. It has also allowed me to share powerful strategies, tools and techniques that can allow anyone to transform their circumstances in the fastest way possible. So the next time you feel stuck, and don't know how to change your situation, make sure you test this crazy gratitude experiment for yourself and see what happens. Be the change you want to see. No matter what you want to change or achieve in your life right now, you can do so only when you change what's inside you. You can become bitter, resentful and disillusioned and thereby experience even more suffering or you can make a change that will powerfully touch every area of your life. A single positive powerful inner change is a bit like pulling the corner of a spider's web. When you pull the corner of the web, the entire web of your life changes shape too. In other words, change just one aspect of your life and your whole life changes as a result. I'm now very grateful for the painful experiences I went through all those years ago. They have given me far greater strength, new skills I never had before, greater meaning and purpose in my life and a greater determination to make a difference in the world around me. I honestly believe that when you discover powerful new ways to transform your own life and achieve your biggest goals, then it is your obligation to share what you have learned with others. I believe that the greatest crime is to learn something that can significantly benefit other people, yet share it with no one. On the other hand, when we transform our lives, change our circumstances and fulfill our dreams, we simply must share what we have learnt with others. If we don't do this, then everything we've gone through has been wasted. This is the reason why I've written this book and why I feel so passionately about helping people to become deeply happy and achieve their life's biggest goals. You are so close to creating the life you've always yearned for and you are in exactly the right place and it's exactly the right time for you to do so because very soon I will share with you the fastest, most reliable and easiest way to achieve all your goals in life. Achieving your goals is easy. At this point, you may be concerned that this will be a lot of hard work. And while I must admit a certain degree of work is required, it does not have to be painful and it is definitely worth the effort. You see, there is an easy way to achieve your goals and there is a hard way. The hard way, the very hard way, is to do nothing at all and hope that your life will improve. 
which it most likely will not. Or you can use a tried and tested system that will allow you to achieve your goals 10 times faster. You deserve to achieve your life's biggest dreams in the most direct manner possible and trial and error really is no longer necessary. In fact, trial and error or trying to learn everything yourself through direct experience can be a very big waste of your time. After all, you only have so many hours in each day, days in each week and weeks in each year to achieve your goals. Life is simply too short to rely on your own untested methods in the hope that they just might work out. Likewise, if you just keep doing the same things and expect your life to change, then you will be very, very disappointed. In fact, Albert Einstein once said that the definition of insanity was doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You can only achieve your goals in life when you try new things, but there is no need to reinvent the wheel. When you learn from others how they achieve their goals quickly, it can speed up your own results enormously. There is a formula for achieving everything you want in life and it is easy to understand, simple to put into practice and you can start seeing results right from the start. So that's the first chapter in my new book, The Most Powerful Goal Achievement System in the World. And uh, I'm launching the book in three days from now and I think you'll find it incredibly beneficial. When you read this book, and carry out the exercises in it, your life will be completely different. You'll be able to achieve whatever you want. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. This is a system that works and it's a system that gives you results right from the start. So thank you so much for watching and I'll share another chapter with you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.